Hi, I'm Dr. Brady Mock, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in hip and knee replacement, and I practice at KD Hospital. So I'm a, I'm a pretty skilled wakeboarder. Like at 38 years old, I can still pull off backflips. Got a little bit of the adrenaline junkie side to me that sometimes I need to, to, to feed. I've been blessed with a beautiful family. I have four beautiful kids, and they are extremely active. I chase them around the state playing volleyball, basketball, soccer, even a little bit of dance. You know, I, I felt that there's a lot of ways you can help people. I felt uh, medicine in particular, you could really get on a personal basis with, with people and uh, treat very specific problems to, to help them in their lives. And uh, so it interests me. And when I was 19 years old, I had a bad ankle injury that required surgery. I was living away from home and had to fly home back to Utah to, to have my ankle addressed surgically. And after that, I was able to get back to playing basketball, skiing, uh, water skiing, um, fishing, hunting, uh, golfing. And as fate goes sometimes, it's kind of weird how things work, but I had a patient uh, come in to see me earlier this month and on his new patient information, he wrote, I fixed Dr. Mock's ankle 20 years ago. And uh, sure enough, it was that surgeon that had fixed my ankle 20 years ago that allowed me to get back coming in with an arthritic hip. And uh, earlier this month, I was able to do a hip replacement on him and um, he's hoping to get back to pickleball here in a couple of weeks so it's it's kind of exciting to see this come full circle. Nowadays it's 60 to 70 percent of patients that are having an elective hip and knee replacement are going home the same day and the rest are going home the next day um, which is quite impressive. Nine out of ten of these hips and knees are lasting 20 years and and the longevity just seems to be so much better. Um, so not only have we improved how fast people are getting up and moving, but we've also improved the type of implant we're putting in. I think a lot about my patients and, and worry about them and want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing for them. I want my patients to know that they can reach out and contact us at any time if they're having problems. You know, we have set follow-up appointments if they like to go under, undergo surgery, but I want the patients to feel that I'm available anytime and that if they have questions, I, they can always reach out to answer questions. I, I try to be very transparent in saying, you know, these are the things that you can expect. If you have this happen, don't worry so much about this. These are the things to worry about and, and try to lay it out that way. My philosophy is really to, to form a partnership with the patient, that we work together and that we come up with a plan that will work to get them back doing what they want to be doing.